you heard of horse sense? How horses are somehow able to sense danger? To sense out evil? Well, I think autistic kids have that too. So I have this idea, this dream. I want to open a summer camp for autistic kids. A place where they can learn how to connect. A place where, for at least once in their lives, they won't have to worry about a thing. What do you say? Pipe dream, huh? <laughs> no, I don't. You start to make me a little nervous. Why am I starting to make you nervous? Because I'm starting to think you might be too good of a person for me. I'm not that good of a person. <laughs> You're going off every day to work on the house. For charity? In the spring break? <laughs> no, you're right. It's it's selfish, really, me being this generous. <laughs> okay, now seriously. Um, we don't drink. We don't smoke. You probably don't sleep around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I gotta have a fault then. I do. Okay, can you like me? <laughs> <laughs> I curse. I do. <laughs> no, you don't. Yes, I do. <laughs> well, I haven't heard you. Well, that's because it's in my mind. That's a constant stream of curse words that I'm thinking all the time. <laughs> Say one, then. I can't. It's filthy. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> all right. No, I, I do have faults, John. Trust me. I have plenty of them. You'll see. I hope so. Where did you get that scar? Um, it was a knife fight, uh, five years ago. I was really drunk and this guy went for my eye. That's terrible. Why? You, you missed. The way people act around you, the way they treated you at that restaurant, it's like they're scared of you. No, they're, they're not scared of me. They, they might be scared of who I used to be. And who is that? Somebody, somebody different. And when did you change? When you went to do the army? Yeah, partially. And <laughs> the other part? I think I'm still working on that. <laughs> so you used to be tough. And maybe you still are a little bit. <laughs> but you don't scare me, John. Oh, well, you scare me. <laughs> So you finally did it, huh? Your summer camp? No, I didn't. I tried. It only lasted for the summer after we took over the place from my parents. It was expensive. <laughs> hey, do you want to come inside? It's just me. Sure. Hello? I'm fine. I've, 
I'm with John. John's here. Yeah, he is. I'll come visit you tomorrow morning, okay? I'll tell him. I love you too. Bye. Tim wants to see you. Tim, you. Mayor Tim? He got diagnosed with cancer. Eight months after I saw you last. First, I just wanted to help. I started, I started coming over as much as I could to give him a hand with Alan, to give him a shoulder to cry on. I'm going to go see him tomorrow morning. Would mean a lot to him, to both of us, if you came along. What kind of cancer is it? Lymphoma. He was so optimistic. He didn't really care about himself, only cared about Alan, which was so inspiring. I have to get him out of the hospital. He needs to come home. There's this experimental drug in Texas that might help, but the insurance companies don't pay for it, of course. My parents sold the beach house about a year ago, which was godsend. And we've done a few fundraisers, but I would have never guessed that we would run out of money so fast. Stay for dinner, OK? Okay. So you drink now? Only a glass or two for dinner. Why, why are you looking at me like that? How am I looking at you? Differently. Well, how do you want me to look at you? You are different. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Why didn't you call? Why didn't you call me? Didn't I deserve a better explanation than that letter? You. You couldn't have given me some sort of chance to change your mind. Don't you think you owe me that? I couldn't. <laughs> you couldn't. You thought that little of me that you couldn't just call me. Why? Because I couldn't. Just give me an answer. Why? Just, Why not? Just, but because I couldn't. I just want an honest answer. Because just hearing your voice would have changed my mind. It was easy for me without you. Tim was sick. He was sick and he needed me. He needed me to help him with Alan, with everything. I was alone and I had no idea what I was doing. But you don't think I've tried. I picked up the phone a thousand times and tried to call you. You think that I would really be standing here in front of you like this if I had no choice. Yellow envelopes are from Africa. Really? I even have your very first letter to me. Anton's water bill. <laughs> Just wrote, I love you, John.
John. Uh, would you mind just sipping me up, please? <clears throat> I should go. I'll see you soon then. Say it back. When I say it, you say it. Remember? John. John. Just say it. Goodbye, Savannah.